Wednesday nights, I talk about motivation and vision. This is the dark vision and dark truth about Jonathan Major's case, people. That actually shows the woman who accused Jonathan Majors going clubbing directly after the alleged altercation. Jonathan's attorney said that she was actually coached by police to say that Jonathan put hands around her throat and the police had brought it up first by mentioning it. She hadn't said anything her on her own about hands around her throat, but the police mentioned it about 19 times. And then that same Daily Mail article, how after looking around Jonathan's New York penthouse, the officers began to make comments about how large Jonathan's penthouse was, regardless of the fact that Jonathan was the one who actually called the police for assistance. And now y'all want to question me and look at my house and that I thought I thought this was protect and serve. Also, the fact that Jonathan's lawyers saw new court documents on April 19th with eyewitness statements, video footage, and phone records in an effort to completely exonerate Jonathan and have all charges dropped. Another article came out from Variety um, where they stated that there were multiple alleged accusers who were cooperating with the Manhattan DA's office. Now this article that Variety published didn't have any names of these alleged accusers. There were no details, not even a hint of it. No verification that these accusers have actually come forward. They couldn't even get cooperation from Manhattan DA's office saying that there were more alleged accusers. And it just made me think, who has it in for this man so deep he goes to his house at 11 13 a.m that morning expecting that she was going to be gone now this woman just allegedly flipped out on him in the car sent him all kinds of messages did you know send, saying all kinds of things it was up 11 13 a.m and he sees that she instead of being gone she's actually unconscious and half dressed on the floor of his closet he saw that she had thrown up in his bed Amber Hurt? Y'all remember Amber? Johnny Depp? What's with this leaving stuff in the bed? That's that's just, anyway. Fuck the toilet. Fuck the sink. Shit. Fuck the floor. I mean, the floor would have been great. The bed? And supposedly, I guess he was able to maybe tap her awake or something where she ends up telling him that she took a few sleeping pills. So Jonathan goes ahead and he calls the police. He calls 911, he calls an ambulance. The paramedics show up and this lady is basically saying that she don't know what happened to her. That's what she tells the paramedics. They're asking what happened, what happened. She keeps saying she doesn't know. Now, according to Jonathan's attorneys, when she was questioned by the police, there is actually actual body cam footage that shows the police kind of coached her into saying that Jonathan put his hands around her throat. Go, we saw her saying that did not happen. I told them they do not have her permission to use that. That is not what happened. They're going to remove that. So, according to Jonathan's attorneys, she was coached into saying that that's what happened. So with all this new information, Jonathan's attorney is requesting that the DA review it as soon as possible and that he dismiss all of these charges against Jonathan. Jonathan Major is going to get past this, right? They'll easily believe a woman, right, before they believe the man. Mm, mm, mm. Like you have to be conscious of every fucking thing, right? Conscious of every person. You have to be conscious of these people because they're going to take over your fucking life and now you're going to lose jobs and lose people and deals and contracts and, I mean, whatever it, it is in in your life to have, you're going to lose that shit by fucking with irritable people. Some stupid-ass fucking person who wants to fucking ruin your life because they feel like they're not going to be accepted in no more. You guys don't know how many people have bad intentions on your If someone has bad intentions on your life, they can do that. They don't want you to win. Another one. I'm telling y'all this. This is so fucking facts. You have people on this fucking earth that's designated, designated to make sure you fail. And y'all letting them people's right inside y'all doors. Y'all letting them people's right inside y'all houses. Y'all sit down with these people at your table. 
around with your kids. Y'all don't know that those motherfuckers really don't like you. They really don't like how you smell, look, eat, live, drive your car. They don't like how you dress. <laughs> you guys have to see this shit. That's why I don't fuck with a lot of people. I'm sorry to, to be very insensitive because it's so true. It's so true. You know what I mean? I hope you guys learn something from this. You know what I mean? I always try to make sure that you guys learn something or pick up something from it, right? I always say, watch your fucking surroundings.